Which brings me to my another tip that I would say that I use to keep me motivated or to keep the motivation alive in me is the people that I speak to on a daily basis. This is something that we have to start taking into account and being more aware of the people we talk to. You can have a great idea. I have this great idea that I want to do something and someone could say something that just makes you say, you know what, I'm not going to do that no more. There's a scripture in the Bible that, don't quote me on the scripture, I don't know it all, but you know when you hear it, hearing good words, keeps you motivated, like in this instance right now, cast not your pearls among swine. Don't tell your good ideas, don't tell your good things to people who are not going to help you get there, or at least give you the motivation to get to there. Hey, I might not be able to help you out financially. I might not know too much about it. But what I can do is say, keep going. Your pearls are your dreams, your thoughts, your goals that you want. Those are your pearls. They're precious. They're worth something. They're meaningful. Don't go throw that in the pig pen. Don't go throw that to people who are only going to pull you down. When you go talk to people that don't have nothing good for you, that's always bringing you negative things, that's always upset, that's always angry, that's always got a problem, that's going to just kill all of the motivation and inspiration that you think that you had. It's going to suck all the energy out of you. A positive person and a negative person is like a positive negative. That negative person... It's contagious. It's just going to drain. As much as that positive person trying to bring up that, they're just going to be draining. Like, hey, man, you can do it. You can get better. Oh, no, man, I can't do it. And this uh, life sucks. And life is cruel. And this. I can't hear that all day. Me, personally, that's a fact. I can't hear that all day. I can't, if, you, if you don't have something to contribute to my life positively, everything must be calculated. Every conversation, every movement, everything you read, everything you listen to, has to be calculated, it has to be gearing you and pushing you in the direction of your life that you want. It has to be guiding you along the way. Because if you just decide, you know what, I'm going to hang out with a bunch of people that have nothing going on, that never speaks positively, that's never trying to achieve nothing in life, they just wake up and just live in the rat race and content on living in the rat race, what do you think your mindset is going to be like? You have to get around like-minded people that think the same way as you or want something as bad as you do and are willing to sacrifice or even speak in the conversation in that way. That will motivate you more. But if you're casting your swine, casting your pearls among swine and saying it to whoever or people who not who don't really want good for you, a lot of times when you're doing good for yourself and you're really trying to get to another level in life, that's when people are going to doubt you and put, try to pull you down even more. Crabs in a the bucket. They don't want to see you do good. They don't want to see you be great. I just want to be great. I just want to achieve something great in my life. I want that. Can, how can you help me? Can somebody help me stay motivated to get to that? 95% of the people are not going to. They'd rather pull you down and tell you you can't do it other than inspiring, helping you to get to where you want. They'd rather see you suffer. They'd rather see you come right down to that level and be nothing and be upset every single day. I got this problem. I got that problem. I got this. They don't want to see you win. How are you supposed to stay motivated around a bunch of people who don't want to see you win? Get around people who do want to see you win. Start speaking to people that are willing to help you in your mindset. Start listening to motivational people that are just there to help you feel the feeling that you need to just make it through the next minute, to make it through the next second, to make it through the next hour, the next day, the next week, the next month. And it just goes and it builds up time after time after time. But you have to start surrounding yourself with people that's going to help you get there. That is a big that is something that is very detrimental to your growth of your life, towards your goals, towards your ambitions, because the draining, just the draining aspect of people and their problems, just hearing people complain about their problem, you're not going to even be motivated to do your own thing because you're like, man, 
All they do is complain. Check the people that you have in your surroundings. And the last thing I believe that can help you stay motivated, which helps me, is have a list. I preach on to-do lists. My book, Changing Your Reality, Changing the Thoughts in Your Mind into Reality, is all about having a to-do list on things that are going to help you get to where you want in your life. Because once you feel like, man, I'm not even getting to where I want, you start losing motivation, look back at your list and say, dang, did I do the things that I was supposed to do on this list? Because if I do the things that I'm supposed to do on this list, these are the things that I have strategically put down that's going to help me get to the level of life that I want to get to. So if I'm looking at the list that I have created for myself, I wrote down the title of my list, Success List. I know if I complete these things on this list every single day, I am headed towards success. One of my, my, my slogan that I say all the time, greatness is a habit, not a right. If you want to do great things, if you want to be great in this life, it has to become a habit. Using a to-do list is a way in creating that habit of doing the certain things that you need to elevate yourself to the next level. It's going to make the habit in you to keep you motivated. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.